Cystic fibrosis is an inherited disease that affects a child's breathing, digestion, and growth. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a mutation or a change in the genes of a person born with the condition. This gene mutation can cause thick, sticky mucus to build up in their lungs and other bodily systems. The organ most affected by cystic fibrosis is the lungs. A child with cystic fibrosis will usually have repeated lung infections. Over time, this can make breathing difficult. In about 90% of cases, this mucus buildup also affects an organ called the pancreas, which is part of the digestive system. Cystic fibrosis causes the pancreas to work poorly, which can lead to malnutrition. When someone's malnourished, their body isn't getting the nutrients and vitamins they need to be healthy. This can also lead to problems with growth. Cystic fibrosis can also cause liver damage. One organ that's not affected by cystic fibrosis is the brain. A child with cystic fibrosis will experience the same cognitive or brain development as a child without it. What are the symptoms of cystic fibrosis? Some common respiratory symptoms in children with cystic fibrosis include frequent lung and sinus infections, a chronic cough, or coughing up blood. Other symptoms common in children with cystic fibrosis include a rounding and enlargement of the fingers and toes called clubbing, an enlarged heart. About 10 to 20% of children with cystic fibrosis have nasal polyps, which are small lumps of tissue from the lining of the nose that need to be surgically removed. Cystic fibrosis also causes symptoms that affect how well the pancreas and digestive tract work. For example, infants and children with cystic fibrosis may have bad smelling, greasy stools, or chronic constipation. They may also have poor weight gain and growth. People with cystic fibrosis have more salt in their sweat than those without it. Parents can often taste this excess salt when they kiss their child. The most conclusive test for cystic fibrosis is called a sweat test. This test is painless, doesn't involve a needle, and can be done on a person of any age. What is the cause of cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease. That means it's caused by a gene passed down to a child from their parents. When a child develops cystic fibrosis, that means they've inherited a cystic fibrosis gene from both of their parents. A parent who has only one copy of a cystic fibrosis gene will be healthy, but they're said to be a carrier of cystic fibrosis. This means they can pass the gene to any children they have. In most cases, children with cystic fibrosis are born to parents with no known history of the disorder. In these cases, both parents carried the gene without knowing they had it. If two healthy parents who each have one cystic fibrosis gene have a child, that child has a 25% chance of being born with cystic fibrosis. How is cystic fibrosis diagnosed? Most newborns born in the United States are screened for cystic fibrosis at birth. If doctors suspect a newborn has cystic fibrosis, the sweat test can be performed to confirm the diagnosis. This means that treatment can often begin in the first month of life before symptoms develop. How is cystic fibrosis treated? There's currently no cure for cystic fibrosis. It is a lifelong condition. However, with medical support, many children and adolescents with the disease can lead long and productive lives into adulthood. The goal of treatment is to relieve symptoms and make sure the disease progresses as slowly as possible. Your child's treatment may include physical therapy and exercise to help loosen and clear the mucus from the lungs. There are also medications that can help ease breathing. Digestive problems can be addressed with supplements and other treatments. It's also helpful for children with cystic fibrosis to participate in psychosocial support, which can help them deal with the psychological and social impacts of living with a chronic illness. One important note, children with cystic fibrosis need to stay at least six feet away from other people who have cystic fibrosis. This is because people with cystic fibrosis can easily spread dangerous germs to each other. This cross-infection can be a serious threat to health. It's important to remember that although cystic fibrosis is a lifelong condition that can't be reversed, with good medical care, individuals with cystic fibrosis can lead rich, fulfilling lives. Research continues to improve treatment options for people with this disease. From first conversations to treatment, 
Boston's Children's Hospital is committed to keeping children and adolescents healthy. For more information on cystic fibrosis, please speak with your primary care provider or visit bostonchildrens.org.